Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Internal combustion engines are one of the best inventions of mankind, but there will always be a chance for improvement, right? Over the years, several improvisations have been made in the engine fuel supply systems for enhancing engine performance. We all know that the internal combustion engine requires exactly the correct amount of air fuel mixture for proper functioning. This was ensured by carburetors in older gasoline engines. But today, those carburetors are replaced by the more efficient and effective fuel injection system. This video is about the electronically controlled fuel injection system in SI engines. Fuel injection system injects fuel at higher pressure using an electronic fuel pump, whereas the carburetor depends on the vacuum created in the engine during suction stroke. High pressure injection results in better atomization of the fuel, lower emissions and increased power. This makes the fuel injection system a better option when compared to the older carburetor systems. Based on the location of the injectors, fuel injected system in SI engines can be divided into two types, single point fuel injection system and a multi-point fuel injection system. Let's get started with the single point fuel injection system. Single point injection system looks similar to a carburetor setup. It has one or two injectors placed in the throttle body that is the passage through which the air intake to the engine is controlled. Hence, this is also known as throttle body injection. The injector is controlled by the ECU and it is placed over the throttle valve which controls the airflow. The fuel from the fuel tank is pressurized by means of an electronic fuel pump and it is sent to the injector. On receiving the signals from the ECU, the injector injects the fuel into the throttle body. Then the fuel mixes with the air and enters the inlet manifold of the engine through the throttle valve. This is how the single point injection system works. But this system has its own disadvantage. Because of the centralized location of the injector, it failed to supply an even amount of fuel to each cylinder in multi-cylinder engines. This problem gave rise to the development of the multi-point injection system. The construction and working of the multi-point fuel injection system are almost similar to that of the CRDI. In a multi-point injection system, each cylinder is provided with individual injectors and they are connected via a common rail. Here the injectors are placed in the intake port near the intake manifold and so this injection system is also known as a port injection system. The pressurized fuel from the pump reaches the common rail and it is sent to individual injectors. On receiving the signals from the ECU, the injector sprays the fuel near the intake manifold where it mixes with the air and enters the combustion chamber. This is how the multi-point injection system works. If the MPFI controls the fuel injection by taking manifold pressure, engine speed and air density as main signals, then it is said to be a DMPFI system. D stands for Druck, which refers to pressure in German. If the main input signals to the ECU are the airflow rate and the engine speed, then that system is said to be an LMPFI system. L stands for Luft, which refers to air in German. Based on the location where the fuel is sprayed, the fuel injection system can be further classified into two types, indirect injection system and a direct injection system. If the fuel is sprayed near the inlet port or near the inlet manifold, then it is called indirect fuel injection. If the fuel is sprayed directly into the engine cylinder, as in the diesel injection system, it is called direct fuel injection. Using gasoline direct injection system increases the efficiency of the engine and reduces emission. As the fuel gets sprayed directly into the cylinder, this system sprays fuel at a high pressure of 2900 psi for the atomization of the fuel. Here the air and gasoline are mixed inside the cylinder and so the crown of the piston is designed in such a way to facilitate mixing. With this we have seen different types of fuel injection systems in SI engines. We'll meet up again in the next one. Until then, bye!